I am replacing the X motor cable on my Flashforge Creator Pro. This is the cable that I'm going to be replacing. And I have already taken apart the side panel. I don't know if you can see that. So the side panel on my Flashforge Creator. And it's going to be this cable that I will be replacing. So as you can see, it goes all the way around, on through the top and down, and it's going to connect down into the board below. Okay, I have unscrewed the back panel, so those are the screws there. This is the back panel, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And it's this cable right here that it loops in through this side and comes all the way down and it goes back to this guy here. So and this guy is looped in through this bunch here so I'm gonna have to cut the zip tie off and um, get this going. I'm actually gonna go the opposite way. <laughs> um, so I pulled out the pin from there. I noticed that you have a ton of little zip ties that you're gonna have to take apart. Okay, so I looped the wire underneath, the small part through the hole, and there's these little tabs right here that are, they move, they're adjustable. And so there's, the tough one is in this corner here, so I was able to pull this, pull this guy down and then loop the wire over it. So I'm almost there. So I'm just going to loop this guy through here and then get it seated back into this stepper. I've now threaded the cable through. Here it is right there. I'm just going to tuck that behind. I plugged it back onto the board right there. Had a little bit bigger zip tie, so I just tried to bunch them as best as I could and try to get as tight as you could. So let's give this a spin and see if it works. All right, I loaded my filament. I'm leaving everything open right now just to see if I can get it going. Let's try our print. Oh yeah, look at that. You don't see any of that shaking or jarring like it did before, so we are now good to go. Cheers. <laughs>